Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you my Foxtel IQ HD and Slingbox Solo setup. For those of you who do not know what a Slingbox is, it's basically a device which allows you to transmit your cable TV and other devices over your local area network as well as the internet. Uh, so basically here I have my TV and underneath the TV is the Foxtel IQ HD. For those of you who know about the box, this is the second version of the box which unfortunately doesn't have component HD out or the SCART connectors. Um, and next to this box is obviously the Slingbox Solo. Uh, you might be able to see the two LEDs on the front of it, basically saying that it's got power and that it is connected to the network. Now let me get around here. This is a bit awkward because my bed is in the way. Okay, and now behind here I have a 5 port gigabit switch. Um, uh, so I will basically show you how everything is connected behind here. So how it works is the Foxtel IQ HD box is plugged into the TV via HDMI. Then the um, sling box is connected to the Foxtel IQ HD box um, via standard component. As I said before, it unfortunately doesn't have the HD component connections on uh, this version of the IQ HD box. Um, and Obviously, um, both the Foxtel IQ HD and the Slingbox um, both plug into the router, both of the Ethernet cables do. And in my case, I am using the Powerline adapters, which came with the Foxtel IQ HD box. And obviously, the um, other adapter is where my modem router is, um, and just um, plugs into the box there. I won't bother showing you that. So, yeah, that's essentially how everything works. And you may have also noticed... Um, both of these sensors here, these are basically for the remote. Uh, these are basically the infrared sensors which um, trick the Foxtel IQ HD box into thinking that they are the Foxtel remote. So I have just um, placed them over there, they seem to work pretty well there. Um, so yeah, that is basically my setup. I don't know if I have forgotten anything or not. So um, if you have any questions about the setup, then feel free to ask me. Um, the hardware side of things is pretty easy to set up. You may, however, need help on the software um, side of things, especially when it comes to the um, Foxtel remote control, um, getting that to work, um, you know, on the computer, etc. So yeah, that is um, pretty much it for this video. I'm about to record another video basically showing you how it works, um, streaming to the iPad. So yeah, as I said, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me in the um, comment section below, and thanks for watching.